Hi everyone, Mike Luzio here for a new episode of the MyGaver series. So yeah, I will give you my uh, DIY Snorri Cam, the setup to film in the POV style. If you need it uh, for uh, short films or whatever. In the other video of the Wally Wally Max, Wally Max. I don't know. Uh, sorry, it was the cheapest uh, Steadicam uh, Snorri Cam, but. It was not uh, really great for me, at least. The one I bought, it was not great, so I had to return it because um, central, the main colon, it was not sturdy enough for the Fuji and the Anamorphic. When I walk, it turned left or right. It was not uh, stable. It was not tight enough. Yeah, I had to return it, but maybe it was only my product. So I don't know. For the price, you know, it's a great solution if you are in the budget. And if you don't want to build yourself, like uh, in this video, I need it for my short film and uh, for other projects. So I decided to build my own and the cheapest one. I use all the gear I had, but I bought uh, just a few things. Let's build the cheapest DIY Snorri Cam. So for that, we take three eggs, one chorizo and some bananas. Oh, that's for my lunch, sorry. So we take one cheese plate, the one from Small Rig is great, with the holes like this to put the strap. Then two magic arms with super clamps, one small and one big, but we can take two big. Then we take the support belt with a pivot like this, that's great, to put the monopod with the adapter and finally the little ball head from Newware. So we put the strap like this in the cheese plate. All right, so yeah, here you have it, the little DIY Snorri cam, cheapest version. It works better for the action cams to not break your back. The weight will crack your back. I try with the Fuji and the Siri Surrey, Surrey 24 mm. It's a little bit heavy. I don't recommend it. On va essayer de gagner quelques centimètres d'image. On met le grand angle. Là, ça va faire un peu plus lourd. On va essayer de gagner un petit peu d'image quand même. Avec l'adaptateur, on va aller mettre plusieurs petits adaptateurs avec le filtre ND aussi. Là c'est heavy. Là ça tient, tout bien serré. Donc ça serait mieux d'avoir la ceinture pour être vraiment plus confortable. Euh, Parce que là ça tient vraiment sur le dos, mais bon. Voilà le petit setup. Alright. Ça tient vraiment sur le dos là. On a vraiment une autre protection, mais c'est le rig le moins cher, donc euh, voilà, ça fait l'affaire. Il faut faire ce qu'il faut pour l'image. <rire> you can do it for a short period of time, but not for too long, and it depends on the monopod. So if you have already a great monopod, you can use it, but this one, it's not uh, straight anymore. Be careful for action cams. It's all right, you can do it uh, all day. It's a uh, very light with a bigger setup, a heavier setup. I don't recommend it because one, your back, trust me, you will feel it. Other than that, the monopod will start to break. But it's a great solution if you are on the budget, if you need this uh, type of shoot to uh, shoot in POV mode, Snorri Cam with the action cam, DJI, you can record. And what's great with this setup is you don't have the shoulder pads, so it's lower. Great angle, even with the DJI in the wide angle. So yeah, you have it. 
Tek tek tek. Boom. Tek tek tek. You can be in the tank top or naked, you know. You can work out with it. You can uh, do what you want. Action style. Tek tek. It's very popular for horror movies. Where am I? I'm lost. All right. <laughs> so yeah, it belts, huh? you feel it in the back and in your hips, in your belly. If it belts, it's uh, because of the GoPro mount. You can take it off and mount it directly on the little ball head. So yeah, that's great. Anywhere, tag, tag, you can adjust the angle. You can uh, put in uh, any direction and the monopod, you can short it or uh, make it longer, but you know, the quality, I already uh, bought it a long time ago, so it works. I will upgrade soon for a pro version, so don't forget to subscribe. A better version, that's a basic one. You can make it with the uh, magic arms and the little belt. It was made for the gimbals, but you know, you can use it. I use my old uh, magic arm. It was broken. I just bought this little part. And of course, if you want, to adjust the angle you can like this or more like that you can do it that's why it's a great solution the cheapest solution i could make tell me what you think in the comments that's a great and a very light setup you can travel with it and use the parts individually All right, that's it, the little uh, DIY snowy cam. So don't forget to subscribe to see more videos, the upgrade, the pro version. I hope you like this little video. See you in the next one. Until then, don't forget to enjoy.